How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Adventure. Last time, I got myself a Garchomp. <laughs> this time, I'm going to be doing a little bit of backtracking because now that I can use both Waterfall and Rock Climb, I want to go back to a lot of the areas that I haven't been able to access because I needed one of these two things, or sometimes both. So it's gonna be a little bit of a journey going back. But before I go, there was something I completely forgot about until I went to buy some more repels. Small details, just in this Pokemart here, there's a wood carving of the Pokemon Krogunk. Even though it's made of wood, it looks like it's seeping poison. I don't know, it's just a cute little detail. It's just a little crow gunk in there. But yeah, so I am gonna head on back to some of these areas. Thankfully, there's a lot more obvious places. Like, you can kind of look at a map and remember where things with rock climb were, whereas things with surf, there's all sorts of hidden stuff there. So let's actually start Veilstone City. All right, it's finally time to knock this one out because this has been taunting me for too long. Where is it? It's over by the sign. It's this here. I could have done this earlier. It's generally a better idea to do it while, you know, going to the Team Galactic headquarters here, but I figured I would save it just because. So there's a jar of full incense here. It's not really that great. You could use it on Snorlax. If you have Snorlax, hold it like a female Snorlax and breed it. Or I think even a male one with a ditto. Then you'll get a Munchlax. And other than that, I think it makes it so the holder goes last in battle. So it's not really that useful because most of the time you're going to be finding Munchlax anyway. So yeah, kind of a dud, but oh well, at least you have it now. All right, so Route 208 was definitely on my list of places to remember to go back to because there's a waterfall there and there's also some rocks you can climb here. So there's a lot of trainers you'll have to fight during this. That's why it's gonna be its own episode because it's quite a lot to get through. All right, so let's go ahead. And of course you can skip to whatever part you want or you can just skip this episode entirely if you don't wanna see it, but I like to show this stuff just, you know, for completion's sake. They call me the Echo Man! Battle with me! Yahoo! All right, Echo Man, what do you have? Hiker Alexander, you have a Golbat. Oh, not really a good matchup here. Level 35 though, so not very strong. Actually, kind of disappointing really, because again, you would have had to have had your seventh gym badge before you could go back here, so it's not like, you know, level 35 is really that acceptable. Graveler? Well, let's give you the old drain punch. Doesn't even have sturdy. Flimsy Graveler is what it is. Yeah, anything without Sturdy that gets it is definitely flimsy. That's always what I call it. I know I keep reusing that same joke over and over, but it's just too darn good. All right, let's go ahead and drain punch this Onyx as well. Okay, Onyx is sturdy though. This thing's sturdy, it's not flimsy. No flimsy Onyx here. I mean, it's still pretty flimsy. Let's just go ahead and use Headbutt. I only need to do one damage, so you know. All right, there we go. So that was very exciting. Oh man, I'm just, I'm thrilled. You get 1,400 Poke Dollars, wow. All right, so up here, there are some rocks that can be smashed, I guess. I'm hoping there's a hidden item over here, because otherwise that's gonna be kind of disappointing. Is it literally just this guy? Nope, there's a bottle of iron hiding here. Not exactly worthwhile, but you know, you can either use it and save, what is it, 9,800 Poke Dollars, or you can just sell it. Whoops, I actually need to still be down here. And you can get 4,900. So it's decent for selling too. All right, so there's an encounter because I don't have super repels up. No. 
I don't need it. It's fine. I figure since I'm gonna be traveling a lot, you know, I don't need it on all the time. If I'm in somewhere with a lot of encounters, I certainly will. Okay, so this waterfall over here, it will be the first waterfall that I climb. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I know, I'm riding you right now. Be barrel like I see you there. Oh, this just looks a little annoying. All right, so you just have to walk over here and then you need to surf just on this little pond thing. And it's a bottle of Carbos. So same story with the iron, you know, it's a vitamin. I guess it kind of helps. Now, just out of curiosity, Oh man, where, gotta find that thing. Is there a hidden item nearby? Does not look like it. That's also kind of a shame. So yeah, all that for literally one Carbos. I am disappointed. Okay, so this one's a little cheeky because I've already been here, but yeah, you need to use Rock Climb in order to go up the southern part of Mount Coronet. Like, since I was on Route 8, I figured, or 208, I figured I might as well go up here. Now, obviously, I've already been here, and there's also one that you can get. There's like a door that leads you out onto Route 207 here. I already showed that, but I'll just mention it here just, you know, just because. But that's actually not what I'm going back for. I'm going back to a place where I could use Waterfall earlier, and I'm gonna check that out. All right, so this cave here fairly early on in the upper part of Mount Coronet, as in, you know, the mountainous part, there was that little pond here, this little lake, but it had a waterfall there. And I said, oh, well, you should come back later after you can use waterfall. So now that I can use waterfall, I'll finally get to see what's in that cave over there. Yeah, there's a cave kind of hiding right here. So let's see what's inside. It's just a rock. A stone plate though, I guess that's all right. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. All right, cool. So that powers up rock type moves by 20%. I think there's something else with this room in specific. I think there's like certain encounters here, but you might also have to have something in your, well, I don't, I don't really know. I, I, let's just find out. I put up a repel. But I think there's something to this that you might want to check out later. I don't know if it's a post-game thing, though. It might just be a post-game thing. You know, I might actually just be misremembering. I think I'm confusing it with the Bagon Room from Gen 3, which is kind of set up similarly. I couldn't really find anything about that there. Like, I looked through the, uh, the encounters, at least on Cerebi, just to see, and it didn't really... Make it sound like there was anything special in that room. I just remember there's something about it. I just don't for the life of me know what. Oh, well, whatever the case, there's one other place I want to check out here. Here we go. So that big kind of room in, like, it was an optional area. There was a galactic grunt that was blocking this path, but now I can open it up and see what's inside. So TM2, Dragon Claw, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's several Pokemon that aren't dragons, but that have claws can make use of it. I don't have such Pokemon on my team, that's a shame. But it's fine, it's still a good TM to get. I mean, obviously the, uh, the Gabite I just got recently, it had, well, I mean, now it's a Garchomp. Oh! Oh! Okay! Really? Really? Alright, so, I mean, I guess this is fine, right? This is just the exit to Route 208 and Route, or not 208, Route 211. Either the east side or the west side. Well, that's fine then. I like never take that path, so I don't really even know what the heck it's all about. Like, I always forget to come back afterwards because I keep thinking, oh, I don't know. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and climb this wall here. This is Route 211. So I guess that works out fine. And there, wow, there's actually not a trainer up here. I was expecting there to be one. So there's TM29, Psychic, which, you know, is a great TM, but you can also just buy it in Veilstone City. So, you know, it's not really that useful. Again, this would have been great. Again, my, my big complaint, it's so weird to complain about getting good TMs, but I just wish that they'd sell those ones the really good ones, I just wish that they would sell them after 
beating the game because it's just or maybe like after getting eight badges or something because it's like it takes away that that sense of oh wow tm29 psychic that's really good i might get it later you know i can buy as many as i want later but i gotta think carefully about who to use it on now now it's really just like oh okay hi i don't think there's anything over here but I figured I'd check just in case. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just Rock Smash. Again, it's areas like this that are very likely to have, you know, rocks that you can climb or waterfalls or stuff. But yeah, there's no way to get really any way down there. So I'm not done with Mount Coronet, actually, because there's somewhere else. I don't know if there's anything there, but I'm going to find out. So let me go to the basement here. Okay, I was definitely misremembering. Actually, it's not even misremembering. It's just like trying to remember the places to check. I thought there was somewhere on the the side, like the wall that had rock climb, but it doesn't look like it. But that's fine because the next area I'm going to is actually right from here anyway. And it's probably, probably easiest just going through Mount Cornet. I don't know, you could probably fly. I'd use defog there, but that's, I don't know, I hate doing that anyway, so that's always a pain. So Route 216. This, I know, has rock climb, because look at all those trainers up there spinning out of control. This is going to be quite the fiesta, and this is something I don't even do in most playthroughs, because it's just, it's kind of boring from what I recall. But we're going to do it anyway, so let's climb the walls here with rock climb. Get up to the top. There are a bunch of trainers around though so that is uh mm, it's gonna be a fun time let's use majesty jr i can withstand this cold that means i can take any kind of attack black belt philip he's got a machoke just one machoke one single machoke but he can withstand whatever attack from that, or not from the Machoke, but just with that one Machoke. That's that's somehow going to, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> whatever, pal. Yeah, I mean, this guy's level 40 at least. Like, the other was level 35, and you have to, like, go out of your way to backtrack to him. Like, you're kind of in the neighborhood here when you get Rock Climb. Like, kind of. But, yeah, whatever, you know, again, there's a lot of trainers up here for some reason, a lot of skiers spinning around like crazy. Skier Bradley. Got a Geodude. A Geodude! One Geodude, well, actually, you might have more, but, like, come on! I went all this way up here just to fight someone with one Geodude. Well, gee, which super effective move should I use? I don't know. I have so many to choose from. I need to get rid of Charm. I'm going to be equipping my Pokemon with better TM moves and just like really going over their moves and stuff because, you know, I've been complaining about the, uh, the air quotes difficulty of the game for, shoot, I feel like 20, 30 episodes by now. But I do have to say, the Elite Four and the Champion, they are actually really tough. Like, they are a good challenge. They really are. Even if you're at a higher level than them. So, we'll finally have something fun. <laughs> That'll be cool. But yeah, don't don't underestimate them. Like, you know, depending on your team, that's the big variable. You know, some teams will just roll right through them, some won't. I'm not using all the super powerful Pokemon, so I might actually even have a little bit of a struggle with them. I think I'll be fine, but still, they are not a laughing matter. They're actually pretty tough. So finally the difficulty will ramp up, but it really goes from like, like, I don't know, zero to 10, like almost instantly. All right, well, there we go. I've hit an ice patch. No, <laughs> that was an Empoleon. All right, let's use dance. I haven't used you a little bit, or used you in a little bit. 
Shoot, I was just mashing through that. Well, she was saying something about, you know, what's number one, what's most fun, I don't know. Skiing and Pokemon, basically. Because that's all she thinks about. So she has a Rosalia, which is just brilliant to bring with you while, like, skiing and stuff, or snowboarding, or whatever sport you're doing. Let's try out this Ice Punch now that I have it. Yeah! This darn hail, though. And a Snover. Alright, I jump kick, let's go. Ugh. I need to put the, uh, the wait, did I put the wide lens on you? I don't remember if you still have the amulet coin or if I finally upgraded. Oh, I didn't upgrade. Living on the edge. All right, let me go ahead and put that on. Because money is good, but I have plenty of money. Like, I really don't need any more. And I've been saying I wanted to do this for a while. The wide lens will make it so high jump kick has a, what is it? A 99% chance of hitting which is pretty good. You get that in Veilstone City by talking to... There's like two people outside of the gym, if I recall. So there's a mental herb here. This is a single use item, single use. So don't do it just like while playing through the game, do it only in facilities. And I gotta remember what it does. There's a lot of herbs. I think it's uh, shakes off move binding effects to move freely. What? I think it prevents stuff like taunt let's say i think i don't know it has its uses and then over here there's a bottle of hp up just kind of lying around there there's a lot of items up here how do you expect to battle in this heavy snow well i've done it before i'll do it again star avia how do you expect to battle with that thing you're not even evolving it. It could be a star after by now. All right, well, let's go for Ice Punch. <laughs> that felt like a crit, like I could just tell. winds of victory shifted. Yes, they did. Okay, so over here, this is the main reward. It's TM13! Ice Beam! Yay! Another one of those TMs you could have bought, like, a million years ago. I mean, it's a good TM, don't get me wrong, but you can also just buy it for, like, really cheap. Yeah, I even have some, right? Who can learn it? I wonder if that'd be a good thing to put on anyone else. Like, I don't think so dance yeah no you're fine <laughs> you're fine okay so that's everything here at least that I can recall on route 216 I don't think there's anything on route 217 so time for more backtracking ah yes this one's really easy to forget I couldn't even remember for sure if there was something here but it looks like there's both waterfall and rock climbs so this is the northern part of route 210 the foggy part so yeah, there's some rocks on the side of the wall here that you can just dig down into this pit, I guess. And then you can also dig up, or not dig up, but you can use rock climb to get out of it again. Don't be shocked when you see my Pokemon. Okay, I'll try not to be shocked. Dragon Tamer Patrick, what do you have? Dialga, <laughs> no, it's Gibble. Okay, well, I mean, there's a Gibble at least. I guess that's all right. I think you would have found a Gibble before fighting this guy. I don't remember where, but I guess just in case if you need to find Gibble and you don't want to go underground or in the Wayward Cave, this guy has him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's kind of cool. Let me get this out of the way, too. 
All right, so this is Grandma Wilma's house. All right. Oh, hi. <laughs> Squawk is nodding at you. All right, well, great. So let's see. Hi, Grandma Wilma. Ho, 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 they call me Grandma Wilma. I came out here by myself from a town of dragon tamers. I can teach the strongest of all dragon type moves to the tough Pokemon of Sinnoh. Would you like me to teach that move to one of your Pokemon? Yeah. All right, so you can learn the move Draco Meteor, I believe, which is kind of like, uh, I think it's Draco Meteor, right? Let's just find out. Yeah, Draco Meteor. So this is a very strong 130 power special based move, but it lowers the user's special attack by two stages afterwards. So it's kind of like Leaf Storm, if you're familiar with that. It's not necessarily the best, but it's not also necessarily the worst either. Like you could put it on a Pokemon like Garchomp, and even though you have two dragon type moves, one of them is special. You only use Draco Meteor like once, and then you just switch to using physical. Well, I don't really need to know Slash. I'm probably not gonna use this thing anyway, so I'll just get rid of uh, I'll get rid of Slash for it because I want that. Sure, Draco Meteor's destructive power is awe-inspiring. Yeah, okay, I just went over all that. So I guess that's kind of a cool reward, actually. Whoa, jeez. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> Man, it just cleared just a moment ago. And yeah, now we can jump down here to go back to the beginning, right? Which honestly, well, I don't have my repels up, so we'll go back this way. Yeah, that's pretty well hidden, too. Like, this is an easy place to forget about. Very easy. I almost did, too. <laughs> my little, like, where do I want to go list? I, I even marked it with a check, or not a check mark, a question mark. Just in case, because I couldn't remember. Okay, so I think there's a way to get down there as well. With all these waterfalls. Uh, let me use this. I guess I'll put this away for a moment, too. Yeah, there's an item down there. But how do I get down there? And yeah, look at this. There's this little, little tiny river here. Oh man, so easy to miss. So a little tiny river, you can take this and you can use water. Interrupting Psyducks every time, every time. All right, anyway, let's use Waterfall on this Waterfall. And even though it didn't look like there was an item, I think that's just because of the bridge. My guess is there is something here. Um, yeah, there's a meadow plate. Also, I don't know how his wings are going through that bridge. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, there's text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Okay, cool. So again, that powers up grass type moves by 20% when held. And of course, there is a certain Pokemon that it'll even change its type. But yeah, not getting that anytime soon. Okay, so further along, there's another waterfall, and then you can go down this waterfall here, and finally, you can reach this item. A jar of wave incense. Wave, say hi. Yeah, that's uh, that's another one of those incense that are used for, for breeding. And I think this one is for Mantike, actually. So it powers up water type moves by, I think it's 20%. And it also, if held by a Mantine, a female Mantine or a male one with a ditto, then the offspring will be a Mantike instead of a Mantine. So, you know, I mean, again, you're probably finding Mantike anyway, so it seems kind of redundant for the most part, but whatever, it's at least there, you can get it. All right, there's a little bit more to explore. Let me, uh, let me find some more stuff. All righty, so Route 213 to the east of Pastoria City. It had this taunting you for a long time. In fact, that guy even remarked, it's like, well, it's probably something cool up there if you had a way to climb rocks. So there's a big patch of grass here, very big. That could be useful sometime, but not really right now. There's a Wingle. Hello, Wingle. Hi. Yeah, I don't think there's any encounter. Actually, yeah, I don't think there's any new encounters up here or anything. Because there is a patch of grass you can still find on Route 213. 
but you know, if you want to get something here. But anyway, there's TM5. Roar! It's Roar! And yeah, that basically forces out the foe if you're in a trainer battle. Well, if you're in the wild, it makes it so the foe gets like pushed away and you, you basically run. You can just hit the run button too, but yeah. And then in a trainer battle, it typically acts last, but then it forces out the the enemy Pokemon, like the one that's that's out currently, and then switches for a random Pokemon. But it's used after like most other moves, so you're gonna get hit in the process. All right, so there's a lot of rocks here in Route 214, or the Valley Lakefront, <laughs> Valley Lakefront, the Valor Lakefront. So this house was inaccessible until you had Rock Climb. Just wasn't a way to get there. The, uh, that coin toss app is why we ended up in this musty, old, and stinky suite. Ooh, the reservations were full up, but they managed to get us in here. We're finally alone, the two of us. If you leave, that is. This is something we don't need anymore. Will you take it? Yay, the coin toss Poketch app. Lovely. The coin toss app can be used to make fair decisions. Okay, is there anything in your trash? There is! There is a Max Revive in your trash! When you're so rich, you throw away Max Revives. Um, yeah, that's kind of wild. Okay, so the coin toss Poketch app, might as well show it. I don't know where it is. Let me find it really fast. I found it! Hey! It's a Magikarp! Yeah, you just tap this and it flips it. And it'll be either heads or tails. It's kind of interesting. All right, so anyway, let's move along here. Let's use Rock Climb to get down on this side. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff around here. So there's a bottle of protein. Those are always nice to have. That's cool. I have to remember, in fact, you know what? Before I go too far, that little section looks like it can only be accessed from the beach on Route 213. So let's go over there really quick. All right. Let's see what's up here. Kind of inconvenient, especially having to go through that animation after going into the building and out. I should just remember to do this first. But, oh well, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so what the heck is even up here? There's a rare candy, so that's pretty good. Just a hidden rare candy. You can't even see it. You have to just mash A. But that's certainly worthwhile. That's pretty good. Always nice to get more of those. Yeah, I totally would have forgotten about that. <laughs> totally. All right, so Valor Lakefront. I did kind of mention you could do this because you'd have to pass through here anyway to go to Route 222, but now I'm actually going to show it. So let's go ahead and do this. So we'll use Rock Climb to get down here. It's really hard to see those rocks like from the back there, so you know. And then there's also, again, really hard to see, but behind this building there are rocks. And then here there are some rocks that are also kind of hard to see, so it's just really hard to see all that stuff. Also, I think I can see the lake from over there. And then there's also rocks hiding behind this building that you can't even see. So you just have to like face, you know, back, like up, and then press A at the very corner there. And finally, there are some rocks here that you can climb. And that gets you TM85, Dream Eater, which is really underwhelming. It only works on Pokemon that are asleep. So you have to spend a turn putting them to sleep first, and then you use it. It's pretty good after that. Like, it has 100 power, I think, and it heals damage by half the damage, uh, or it heals your HP by half the damage the target takes. Kind of like Giga Drain and all that. But again, it only works on sleeping Pokemon. So yeah, if they wake up, it kinda, <laughs> kinda ruins that. I'm not really a fan. Every now and then it has its own applications, but since most of the time, you're not going to be able to put them to sleep naturally anyway, like it's not really worth it. Actually, you know what? This is a really good time to get out of here with Fly, so I'm gonna do that. All right, well, I think that's actually about it. That was all I could think of. I looked all around. There's probably a spot or two I missed here and there, but eh, you know, all things considered, I'd say it was a pretty good success. There's a lot to pick up. Some of the items are kind of useful. Some of the stuff was useful. For the most part, it's just stuff. Again, it's optional. It's not something you have to do, but I figured I would show it just in case you want it. 
All right, anyway, now we got to make my way over to, uh, well, I need to make my way. I can't speak for you, but I need to make my way north to the Pokemon League. So I'll be doing that on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Adventure. See you next time, everyone.